hottest freestyles to interviews with the biggest artists in the world. It's Justin Credible and DJ Sour Milk, the LA Leaguers, live from Los Angeles. Terrace Martin is here. Uh, we are your LA Leakers. This is that liftoff show on Power 106. Yeah. Our brother Terrace, man. That's we, how we here, man. Good <laughs> friend of the show, man. Great friend, man. Great <laughs> friend. These motherfucking mics is on a different one. <laughs> Take yo, that. <laughs> yo, hold on, dog. Let, let's let's be honest for a second. Okay. Me and you talk a lot of shit to each other, yeah. uh, 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 like in private. Oh yeah. We can't say none of that shit in 2021, nope. bro. No, nope. we we can't. We because every, every everybody feels away. And now everybody has a voice to say how they feel. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it's interesting that we can't have, we can't do what we do. And we will never expose what we do. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny. It's, and it's the funnest shit ever. But then it's like. You don't know. The police could kill black people online. And it could. It could it and could, to get away with it. It could be on Twitter. And, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That too. Yeah. And it could, it could be another guy that leads a whole race war. It could be these. Things it could be showing, it could be the whole pandemic. It could do all these other things, but you just can't express yourself as a human being. Oh, that's real shit. Very American. You can express yourself right. through music, though, man. Talk Definitely. to us For about sure. uh, talk to us about drones. Very expressive, you know. Drones. Like we. And what's funny is, um, man, this whole do- this whole idea started about six years ago. You know, me and Kendrick were just in the studio, just just talking about life and just like we. We realize, yo, we're all controlled by our phones. We're all controlled by the internet, and that has removed so much. Like, man, we have a lack of trust, right. lack of compassion, lack of empathy, lack mm-hmm. of anything. And now, perception is reality. Now, isn't that crazy? So, bro? like, the truth is a lie now. Right. And then the lie Damn. is the truth now. Yeah. You know, yeah, so it's, that's it's, real it's, shit. It 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 it's a different day. And and to me, honestly, I like all that shit too. Mm-hmm. I like all that weird shit, just like I like the the other shit. Cause you gotta, you gotta, you gotta love it all to even know how to balance it and go right. through that shit. For me personally, so I think, man, you know, the, the whole point of drones, we we wanted <clears throat> me and my colleagues wanted to all just come together and do a body of work. To the main point of drones is to help restore those feelings that I feel that we've all missed so much—a feeling of compassion, trust, love. Right. You know, just just having a conversation with just being, being how me and you talk, being ourselves, each other mm-hmm. without having if we. Even if me and you joking, we don't got a problem. Some other motherfuckers oh, don't yeah, say a problem. Exactly. And then yeah. it's like, now we're canceled, but we love each other. But yeah. damn, what, what, what happened? What, mm. You know, and so just all that is just pretty, pretty much just, just just the music is to restore a feeling of of, of trust, mm-hmm. fun, yeah, you know, love, honesty, you know, and and just you know just and feel away, you know. Right. So I got together with a few of my friends, uh, Snoop Dogg, Ty Dolla Sign, Leon Bridges, Corday. Mm. D smoke uh, and tons of other well, not tons tons is it's a lot of weight but, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. A, a few other people and I got a chance to get into the studio with these people and talk about these issues you know especially when the pandemic hit because I had a writer's block for like two years on this album I was like I can't hear shit the universe is changing so much and I'm so environmental shit was changing the pandemic was so emotional right you know right and, and I heard I heard somebody on the radio say the other day. The pandemic was, you know, I was, I'm, I'm always alone anyway. And this is what I do. <laughs> then, uh, then you don't have kids then. You don't know yeah. what life is then because my kids were affected by not being able to go to school. Yeah. Right. They start acting different because that shit is psychological. Absolutely. Shit, you know? then I'm sitting there trying to be a school teacher, but I smoke so much fucking weed. I can't. I, I can't teach. <laughs> like how am I supp- right, <laughs> What just... am I teaching? You know? And th- so it was all mentally challenging, the whole Hell thing. Yeah. And on top of that, still, I, I and I, the truth will still... Black people still being hunted, you know, mm-hmm. still being like, I mean, openly, right, online. Yeah. Why the world is going to this through the whole pandemic thing? So shit's crazy. I think all that put an urgency in me to really get the record done and talk to all my friends. Like, yo, let's, 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 let's put some art out there. Let's put some art that, that, that not just artists will love, but you know, single parents will love. People going through depression. People suffering from, from thoughts of suicide. That's a mm. real thing. Absolutely. People. People not want to people not want to live in their truths because the whole world is living the lie now and you don't want to live in your truth because you uh, be, cause, how cause people you be are gonna be judged yeah. and yeah so yeah. you know let's put some art out that people can feel like feel part of you right know? that's really, right that's what drums is about man so and and so you know you said you said when the concept came about you and Kendrick were in the studio talking now as you're recording this is this something that you feel like you have to like run to him and be like yo I'm gonna run with that idea or or is off top, is it just like no? You just do your thing. No, no, no. When, 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 
Because re- really is 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 how it, how drones happen is the song we me and Kendrick came with an idea for a song mm-hmm. and Punch heard it, mm-hmm. and then Punch was the one that really like you know what. You should do your whole album based on this concept. This mm. is interesting. This is, and I I I listen to Punch. You know. You, yeah. You be a fool not to. Exactly. Right. You know, um, sometimes, sometimes you know, you can't listen to all the motherfuckers <laughs> all the time, but, but most of the time, yeah. All, like most of the time in my career, for sure. You know, he's in it's some other shit too. Like, like, <laughs> we'll but, save uh, that for another. Yeah, we'll save that for another day, man. You know, I'll talk about me and Punch in a high speed chase another day. You know? Really. But, we gotta uh, get punch up here too. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we y'all should get punch up here. No, nah, I told bro. I'll, punch, real get quick. up here, man. No, I, he texted me the other day, and I said, "Bro, if you're not texting me about rapping, I'm not replying to you, <laughs> dog. That's it." I told him, I was like, "That's see, it, bro." You, see, punch, and, and he said he got, he was like, "I got eight bars for you." I'm like, "Bro, get the fuck out of here, dog." <laughs> punch got a book for you. <laughs> I already know, but you know, punch, punch was the one that really, really sparked it in my head. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always just doing music. And, Every song is a thing to me. Oh yeah, yeah. And the punch is punch. The whole job in my life is to say, "Hey, boom! I think this is it. I think people feel like this. You, you, will you feel like this?" And I just kind of roll, roll with it. So punch was the one that really, you know, he he was he even named the album Drones. Damn, you know? crazy. Wow. Yeah, I think I had another name in my head like. I don't know some some old artsy weird shit. That I, I'm glad I didn't name it. <laughs> I know you've been, I've been hearing drones for a minute. Yeah, so. you know because it was a topic that never got old to me, and right. it was a, it was a life situation that never changed. Like it's always evolving. Where it's like even more, we're more in control now than when we started this idea. That's crazy. You know? And even I thought about the song drones itself. Me and Kendrick started that song years ago, but then. Even down to the last hi hat to kick drum to to con to adding James Fauntleroy, Ty Dot, like that shit was done two months ago. Like we've been changing this whole we we've been talking about life issues. It's evolves. It just, it just continues evolved, to evolve. You know, this the same thing with life. Hmm. You know. This, so, this, but this is the longest damn record I've I've took to do. Is, you've been working on this. Yeah. Through through the whole pandemic. Oh, for sure. Even Six before years. I, I, I wasn't happy with the music I was doing. I just wasn't like I was I would go work with Travis Scott, be happy with what I'm doing for him. Work with Dot Happy, work with Herbie, work with everybody, be happy. But when it got to me, I just wouldn't be happy with them. And some people say, you're overthinking. I'm not an overthinker. It happens, though, in I our don't industry, right? I'm not the, oh, I, need it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> let, let, you know, the right tequila, I'm on. We on. The it's right going to feel good. <laughs> okay. It's, we going to feel good. It's okay. Gonna, it's going to feel like a party. So, but it wasn't even hitting me in no type of way. And I feel like the music I was doing the past couple of years for myself wasn't environmental. It wasn't wasn't really attached to what's going on until that pandemic hit where my whole spirit just went mm. and then it started coming through that through that through that situation you know as wait, far wait. As finishing it right and, and so so which song was this that you said that that you were working with on dot with Drums. dot on drone oh okay and then and then that ended up being the name of the project Cause the, the, yeah because the, the conversation that day we was having was so intense and then with me and punch digging more into just you know, and then every time something happened on the internet, he would just be like, "Drones, bro, look at this shit. Like, look at this shit. Like, let's full circle let's moment. Let's take a music photograph of the time. Yeah, this is the time. Yeah, and you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, 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 I'm like, I'm a fake ass photographer for a hobby, <laughs> but I'm, I'm a hell of a musician for a living, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so yeah. my, me taking my camera and my pictures, me writing music. Uh-huh. That's how I record the time. That's how I take a photograph of the time. So, you know, man, we we, we just want to record this time and still install feelings and and still give that. You know? Love it. And, and what what's it what's it like working with someone like Dot, man? Like, I'm not asking no more Kendrick Lamar questions, <laughs> bro. No, this is the last one. This is no, the last no, I, one. I, I, well, because I was gonna say since he listens to Punch and Punch texts you that. For him to tell us the name of Dot's next album, we should probably just oh, get yeah, that out yeah. the Oh, yeah, too. Punch said you could tell us the name of the uh, Dot's, Dot's album. And, and the release date. <laughs> Since you, you know. What? Show All me right. the text. All right, yo, thank you for coming yeah. up here, bro. <laughs> Honestly, we don't give a fuck about your project. We just we were just hoping that. that you were gonna tell us about Kendrick Lamar, I know, dog. Right? That's, that's, that's the whole fucking line. <laughs> we just fucking with you, bro. This our here. brother right here. Oh, but for real, though, I know. You do know. Well, you you know what? I'm I'm gonna say this, and I think because Kendrick don't tell me that shit. 
when we talk, we, we I don't even, uh, I don't even want to know. Please, because then I, you're I gonna go to the LA Lakers show, show and they're gonna ask me about I it. I don't want to. I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to be surprised too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a, a fan. At the end of the day, you're a fan, fan as well. I'm a fan. You, okay. I tell you, and I, I'll say this on most of the records I've done on Kendrick, I never know all the way until the album comes out. Was on it. Yeah, that's crazy. Sometimes wow. we don't know. Sometimes he, Kendrick could change an idea in the middle of the night. You know, he, he he he's a thinker, and he's you know he could, you know, that's his that's his thing. He has you know, like I I told one interview guy, some stories aren't for me to tell. Those are his, like you know, even to but that to Pimp butterfly. That's his shit. All those Beautiful. records. That's those are his visions that I assisted on. So some of those go. That's for him to talk about. And right. I just assist and I sit back and I I'm like, I'm always in awe of him. Like, man, I can't wait to see what happens. Wow. You know, you know what my favorite thing about that whole sentence was right now? What's that? Bro? And I'm I'm pointing this out because we love Terrace Martin. Terrace Martin's our brother. He referred to somebody as an interview guy. No, I know he kept yeah, it real, yeah, like yeah. professional yeah, and, interview guy. Yeah. I like that. Well, well because like you that. know the the, the interview guys, <laughs> the interview guys, because there's some people that do interviews. Uh huh. Then it's the interview guys. Yeah, <laughs> those are interview guys. This he is was, more of like a conversation. <laughs> well, because what they are all, we they, are we interview guys? No, or? no, 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 no. The, the, they they always ask me, um, so what do you want people to know? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Oh, the, the, that generic, type of, the, the generic, the generic questions. interview guys, the generic questions. And I always say, I have to go feed my dogs, bro. I have to call you back. <laughs> that is so fucking rude to do an interview and not do your research on a person. Bro. Absolutely, that's just fucking rude to me. And I'm not part of that era, so I won't. I don't even deal with those. You know, usually I, I deal with the people that I've, I've, I ask her who we doing it. I've looked you up. I've studied you till I can know. So you it know. should go vice yeah, versa. Yeah, it's like, it's like yo, I can't know more about you than you know about me, yeah. bro. You're supposed to be interviewing. Yeah, it's me. like you know. Uh, uh, so yeah, so like one guy, one guy, I won't say his name, but he's a big <laughs> deal, I guess. But he asked, yeah, it sounds like Snoop and Ty was on your album. Is there other voices I'm hearing? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Like, Can we bro. get the paperwork at least? <laughs> <laughs> fucking do geek. You, do you not know your history, bro? It's, it's sad, you know what it I'm saying? It is sad. You know? But, it, but it's, it's, you know, no, it's not all good. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. But we, we, we live in a world where nobody, not nobody, but a lot of people don't study, you know. But you can tell the motherfuckers that don't study. They all they drink a certain type of liquor, eat a certain type of food. <laughs> they go to different restaurants. Right. <laughs> they wear certain fabric. <laughs> right. It's a certain type of individual. It's a different thing, you know. Nice watch. Oh, oh, thank hey, nice you. Hey, you too. You know, I we, see you hiding it under the table, bro. Trying to get come the fuck on, out of dude. here, man. Y'all, y'all remember we, we was buying Louis Vuitton keychain? Yeah. Oh Orleans my Hills. god, I, I, bro. I kept, I kept losing them, so I stopped. <laughs> bro, <laughs> things would break. Those, they would snap. They, they would break. Would snap. Too much money. To I was keep about to say, dog, shit. I was following so your expensive. asses, because like, I was like, that is hard with the wallet, and they always broke, bro. Yeah. Oh, when I'm driving with the keys on, it made too much noise. <laughs> Oh man! Damn, we done spent Damn, we, some. We, we go yeah. back, man. Yeah, man. We spent some time together. Yeah, it's been some years. How did you curate the artists that are on the album? Are these just purely friends who caught a vibe with you? Was there any type of, you know, wish list, or no. was it? Or I just picture I people I just do the wish list because I, you know, Snoop raised me since seventeen years old. One thing Snoop always said: "Fuck with who fuck with you, love nah. who loves you, be loyal who's loyal to you." Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't really do the the um the record industry. Right. Uh, you're hot, hop on the record. It's not a grease board in a room with a bunch of names on, and you're just checking them off as they. No, nah. I mean it's it's Even that though... it, it, it's that, but they just so happen to be everybody that I'm part of their starting. Yeah, career. absolutely. So it, it's it's that, but it's and it's that with the highest respect to them and like Kendrick is iconic now, and oh Ty Dolla Sign is huge, and right. So it's that, but it's in the respect of that, but it's still. You know, if Clarence take too long, I'm calling personally. <laughs> yeah, 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 that could happen. <laughs> Which like they did for every song on the record. We got to get this done. You got to be like, yeah, man, how's the, yeah, how's the kids? Yeah, man, kids, cool. Yeah, man. <sighs> Deadline's coming for this Clarence. Yo, so, so, said, so wait, hold kids, on. Yeah, that's how, so, so are, you, are you one of the people that, that make small talk, like, and then ease into it, or you just get straight to the business? Like, hey, bro, 
Because to me, you strike me as someone that's going to be like, hey, dog, I need this shit cleared. To it. And then you might be like, anyway, what's, what else is up, though? It depends on the relationship. It, it, it depends if you've done me like that before. Okay. Mm. Interesting. I love when you do me like that. I don't mind. Right, right. But I really want to do this anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, that's smooth. You know, I, my, my, whole life, my whole life since junior high school, bro, like, even with my friends, I you dictate our relationship, mm. really. Like, I'm chilling. I'm, cool. I'm me. I'm neutral. Right. I'm neutral. I can go either way. I don't got to fuck with you. I'm the only child, too, so I don't got to fuck with you, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. a survivor in my own mind on some other shit, so <laughs> I'm cool. Right. So for me, if, if, you, if, you, if you're that kind of guy where... You press me, you don't say hi, text morning, text messages. It's, How are you? It's just and boom, shit. boom. And then I would I would be doing our relationship a disservice to do anything other than that. Mm. True. Hey, man, hope all is well. No, fuck that. Hey, what's up, bro? Just clearance ain't taking too long. You know? What's up? Where are we at and with if it? you ever thought you could bark at me on some street shit, you know, we love that. Because after I check the fuck out of you for that first one you did that, then I go to this other part. Mm-hmm. That it makes it real fast, you know. But luckily, I didn't have to do that for nobody on the album because we're all friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, and I ain't had to do that in years, bro. I'm a different guy these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've evolved. We've evolved. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate this you motherfucker, know? bro. But, hey, but we, but just be, 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 being honest, bro. Like, no, no disrespect will not be tolerated. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? And 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 if it is tolerated, I'm just gonna remove myself from the situation. So I don't, I don't. I don't, I, I don't that. have any entitlement and things like that. But most people that I have on my record, I'm usually still in cahoots with the, doing their records. Mm -hmm. We have a good working relationship, and we all see eye to eye on artistically mm. what the fuck is up. And yeah. I don't, I don't call certain troops out unless I need to get a certain message out. Mm. You know, it's, it's like I grew up heavy in a music family and a military family, so mo mo all of my family are Marines. They disrespect the army and everybody else because because the Marines they feel like, and this truth you know they on the motherfucking front they on the they front front front, front. right they clean they wiping it down if it's an issue right so for me I don't call my 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 A list Marine motherfuckers unless I'm like yo it's times bad mm. this is no longer even with racism you think about this is no longer a black and white thing it's a hate and love thing. I gotta call the guys that know how to assassinate those evil those evil vibes and get the message out. So I, I'm not calling motherfuckers that's running behind. I'm calling motherfuckers that's been on the front line. Yeah, right. That's been through some shit right. that has the voice, that has the people that listen to them that really could get the message out. We all need to we all need to shut the fuck up and hug each other. Well, we can't hug no more, so we got an right. elbow. We gotta elbow each other with mask on, <laughs> but we need to elbow each other at least. Something, yeah. something, you Show know. Love. So, I, so I, I, I feel like I, I assembled the crew that was that was ready for uh, spiritual warfare because that's what we going through. We going through the darkest times, and we we need people that understand love. You know, I I told somebody somebody said, "How do you feel about you know the white all these?" I said, "Man, I don't, I don't even know what that is no more." Mm. I'm fighting a whole bigger war. I'm fighting hate. Mm. Shit. I'm fighting a whole bigger thing. A month with me being black and being from a real village and still trooping how I troop, but I'm I gotta fight for. I gotta I gotta I gotta try to help everybody. Kids that need help. Absolutely. I can't just, you know, it's like I can't be part of the problem. So this 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 music is really. It's for everybody, you know, and that's that. It makes it easy to deal with people because everybody that I have on the record feels the same way, you know. Mm. And I talked to some people on the record; they didn't that we didn't end up doing music that they didn't feel that way, mm -hmm. and it, it was cool, you know. You you've you've worked with the biggest, not yeah the the the, the biggest. biggest of the big, bro. Not only hip hop, not only R and B, soul, not no, only every, jazz. Everybody, bro. Yeah, everybody. I know. Everybody. It's crazy, bro. Bro, it's everybody. Crazy. But but if we had to narrow it down to to just L.A. and again this is not only hip hop this is just impact on 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 music Snoop the Dog. culture let's go okay. let's Snoop go Dog. we need let's four go. of them though Mount nah, Rushmore Mount Rushmore it's Snoop is, no, Snoop, Snoop is taking is up all faces. four spots he's We're taking... talking about L.A. We, Snoop is all the faces talk to him yo and, and real Snoop quick Snoop Dog is all the faces how I I know I know people do hold Snoop up high as they should, but I feel like he's still, still not held up right? as high like as he should be. He's still underappreciated in a way. 
There's no one more famous. It's, you know and, what? I don't. I'm. I. I don't. I don't feel he's underappreciated because I appreciate him every day. Of course, of course. Um, and I mean, it, it's it. We didn't know. We didn't know what we had until Jimi Hendrix left. Mm. With Jimi Hendrix. Yeah. Right. John right. Coltrane. Charlie mm-hmm. Parker. Beethoven. Yeah. Shit, yeah. You know, I mean, uh, I mean the, you know, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, I mean, Tookie, he's everything in one. He's he's a rare human being. And you know, he's uh I say him because it's nobody else that could sit next to him as a human. Right. The music is one part. Right. I've been with this man on personal things that his how he interviews is that's him. Right. How he corrects himself. I just heard him apologize about the whole the whole Eminem thing. He admitted he was wrong and and he said I'm I'm you know like I'm human. Who does that? Right. Right. I'm not gonna say any names to the other big guys, but nobody admits faults. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a whole nother <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nobody could nobody is it's even disrespectful for me to sit here and mention another another name on a Mount Rushmore next to Snoop Dogg for me. Yeah. For me. Mm. You know. And because he he wears different faces and he always have different generations. Absolutely. You know? So for him and, and for me personally, you talking to a guy where he was the link to everything. Mm-hmm. He's my oh his, the, the, the branches. He's, he's my link. Like I got with Quincy because of him. I learned how to produce records to get with Kendrick because of him. I got with I learned how to score with, from with Lalo Schifrin because of him. Like it's it's like it's different things. It's like he for me he's the oracle. He's uh, tapped into every world, bro. He's the one. He, he's nobody. He's the one. Nobody in the world. Nobody in the world Icon, is, is like Snoop Dogg. And not just because I love him. Just when you just if you strip all that and just look at everything. Yeah, he's it. Damn, he's the one. You know, most most popular, too. <laughs> probably yeah. most popular yeah. dude not, in the world. That, though. Yeah, more than any of these motherfuckers, he really loved kids and help out kids. That's yeah, a, love hearing those more stories, than man. more than any I know. He really he hired. Really, at one point, he was hiring so many homies coming out of jail just to help felons out, just to help. He he, he gives himself so much with helping. Hmm. He extends his whole thing, and that, that's what I learned from him. Between him and my mom, it's like, I'm like, damn, I, 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 I'll never have nothing because I'm going to die giving. Cause that's what they do. That's yeah. what I, I see. You've watched. I, that's, 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 his, that's, that's how you live. And you, if you're from that thing that I'm from, you have to give. Right. So I always work with so many different artists and you know what I'm saying? And you are always willing too, man. It's like you know. It doesn't matter how big the name mm-hmm. is. It's like if it's dope, it's dope. That's right. That's right. We've always loved that about you, if man. It's dope, it's dope, you know. You know, if it's if it's different. What, if what? was it different? If it's different. Right. What's your message to young young artists too, man? You know, like Milk said, you've you've been around the biggest, you've produced, you've contributed. Uh, you are, you know, so respected in, in in the craft, but nowadays, you know, egos in the room, mm-hmm. stubbornness. We talked about, you know, earlier. Like, what what's your message to a young artist today who, you know, some of these guys just want to get like viral. You That's know what I was gonna say. Not not only that, but in the age of social media, these motherfuckers think. Like oh I, I got a million followers now man fuck y'all right you know what yeah, I'm saying right, it's right. Like, that, that, that's their you know what? Chip I, their... I got a message for everybody you know if if that's your thing you coming in you grow up a certain type of way you do some songs you able to get some money buy mom's a house you able to be cool change your life around if that's all you see it for and you doing that then my message is to you to and do that get the bag and buy a lot of real estate and study right if you're really trying to live and die for this art form. Which is a different responsibility. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> right, that's different. <laughs> right, but I love both. No, there's definitely the, a the, place. The, the art farm thing is different. You have to strive every day to look for the challenge. Interesting. You have to be. You should want to be un- uncomfortable every day. That's what I was gonna say. You can't because, get comfortable. No, but if you hit a lick, and shit's been fucked up, and now you hit a lick, you got. Seven top streaming songs, you cracking, you got Mama Ten Houses in Atlanta, you doing this, you blah, 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 right. blah, you you buying all the places in the South and you renting a big place in Woodland Hills out here, whatever, <laughs> right, whatever right. you're doing, whatever, that's the pattern. 
Yeah, you know, that's the pattern. Couple you know, chains. Couple of chains, you know. Cars. You got the range leases. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mercedes you stay, fucking Benz. You, you stay in the truck. same house. I'd have been to 20 other artists the past 20 years in, but it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you just hitting a lick. <laughs> right. Just to better you and your family to get some motherfucking money, then get get your motherfucking money. Right. Yeah. Right, okay. If you fucking with this art shit. Get uncomfortable. Get uncomfortable and don't play with it and say some shit. Right. I love both. That that's what I would say to both. Okay. Anything in between, I don't believe in. Right. Hmm. Damn. That's Pick a, a side. How how about uh, young producers? You know what I'm saying? What, what what makes a great producer great? Man, the word producer is so is so right. Because I don't so, even, I, you're not you're more you're so much more than a producer yourself. I'm a counselor. Right. No. Well, that's what I want to talk <laughs> about, right? Producer, Some of that you know. shit that goes on in the studio is like um, therapy at times. To a young producer, I really want to produce. P- producing is not doing a beat and sending a pack. Yeah, yeah beat making right. and producing that's not, is different. Or like putting your tag on a record, send it to a person, they rap on it, it becomes a big record. Right. The artist produced that record. You just programmed and did the beat. You, Interesting. It's, you know, if we're doing technical things right. that count. Mm. And that, you know, um, if you want to be a producer, I would say, like I say, be uncomfortable, mm-hmm. listen to different type of music, and you know, stay there from the hi hat to the stay stay there from the idea to mastering. Like, it's yeah. a long process for one song. Yeah, right. I do it every song, like every artist I work with. But that, that's I love doing that. I love producing where I want to produce. But producing doesn't mean I did the record though. Right. I may just produce the situation. <laughs> For real. I may I, put the I may, people in I the room. Like yo, I'm, I'm working with YG right now. I'm gonna call Boy Wonder tomorrow, mm. bro. This is what we got. Boom. Then I'll play on top of that. Then maybe have the ranch come play with that. Then maybe did boom, 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 and boom, 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 boom. I'm just being like, hey, let's do that. Let's let's put that. Let's fight that. Okay, okay. I'm just that's that's Rolodex producing, mm. the level production, you know. Yeah, I don't have to be hands on. Rolodex producing. Yeah, yeah. that's 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 <laughs> that's, that's kind of what I'm into these days, you know. But I could I'm I could be probably the most extreme hands on than any of them. But oh worse, yeah, you could go course. from start to finish. Oh, you easily need to. On, on anything, of course. But, yeah. But why? But that's no fun. Yeah. That's right. just you in the room alone, bobbing to your own beats. Right. That we all start off doing, but <laughs> right. You know, that's no fun. I want to have a room full of people, you know. Yeah. One of my favorite producers I've been listening to a lot the past two days is a young lady by the name of Wonder Girl. Oh, yeah. Okay. She's a beast. She's a fucking beast, bro. Beast. Her drums, even if I got them in my eye, in my shower, my little thing, it you feels just... like I'm in a stadium all the time. Damn. So in my head, I'm like, oh, I want to get her. And What would an orchestra Mm. What would, what 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 would the VN Symphony sound like over that? Because if she's stadium, and their concert hall, maybe that. What is that? Right. What does that sound like? Jeez. And I then I would say, but who gonna write? Who gonna I was write? just about to say <laughs> who, who who's who's the artist. The mind of Terrace Martin. You know, Dot, Drake, Cole, mm. you know. Yes, sir. Um, somebody, somebody that understands how to talk to the world at one time for that Wonder Girl Orchestra. Travis. I, I would put Travis as a producer on that because Travis knows how to. Oh, T, now let's go get you. Let's go get Alan Ritter. Let's go get and let's put that like that. Let then let's go get Hip Boy. Like he's another. So we it would just be just. Like, what would that sound like? You know, that uh, the, those are the ideas I'm into now. I'm not into I did this. I'm gonna do this. And I, like I'm I don't I'm into like what what after we after we plant the seed and it 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 grows. What what is what's the colors of that flower? Mm. It's not a rose. It's not a sunflower. What what is this? Right. You know, some I, other shit. Yeah, that that's what I'm into now. You know, really that, breaking down. Yeah, really breaking down. Yeah. You know, something that we could get a world. You know, rather 
it does big numbers or it doesn't. Just let's just make an effort to do something different. Different. Yeah. You hear even uh-huh. artists saying it now. Like, come uh-huh. on, I just want to do something different. Yeah. yeah, they all say that, but they never want to go. When you actually get them in the studio, they, they won't though. go outside like, the box, though. <laughs> yeah, let's do something different. Let's let's go from this to this. And it's like, no, bro. Let's like listen to speed a it up, up five BPMs, bro. Yeah, that that we we're, we're we're edgy now. <laughs> yeah, right. You know. It's like I'm going from 65 to 130. It's like, bro, that's the same it, thing, dog. Just, bro, it's just, come on, come on. <laughs> you going from half time yeah, to double time, yeah. bro? You still rapping the same? Seriously. Hey, man, you know who I'm into right now, Smino. You guys, like oh, Smino's yeah. dope. Yeah, He's a problem. Smino's dope. We've had him do a freestyle Smino's up here, right? In a freestyle, yeah, yeah. Smino, IDK's dope. IDK's dope. Yeah, man. There's a lot of, a lot of We always dope. have these good convos about yeah. those. And T, you always got your finger on the pulse. Yeah. I got to. I got to stay with you, you stay with it. Concorde always keeps me in. That's, oh, that's, that's, that's my guy. He's, that keeps a, he's me another in. one. He's a beast. He's Crazy. He's one. got He's a beast, but he, his mind is, you know, Next he's, level. he's in early 20s. I, I hang out with him. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy, bro. But we, he's teaching me stuff. Yeah. We we switch game back and forth. He, he, that's, that's my little bro, but. I learned so much, but I always learn something from these people younger than me all the time. Mm. You got to though, right? Yeah. That, that, that's that's how you stay fresh and relevant. I remember the first time I heard about Chief Keith, it was Kendrick talking about Chief Keith and J Rock, and they were this hard, and I was like, I don't, I, I can't. What, what are they saying? And, and I started listening to it more. And when you listen to it in them environments, mm. you're like, oh, oh, this shit is the blues. It's real. Mm-hmm. It's it's this is the blues. I I I. I I equate everything to my my point of direction is classic music, which is the blues, jazz, classic hip hop. So I'm like, oh, Chief Keith, that's the blues. Future, that's the blues. Too. Right, for you real. Know I mean? Yeah, you know, thug, that's the blues. Right, honest ass, unapologetic, mm. high level art. Mm. That's that shit. Lil Dirt, that's the blues. His shit. Facts. I can't play his shit at night. I'd be looking all around like, what the fuck? <laughs> Demon time. What the hell? Ooh, that, yeah. What's going on? You know? For real. You know, I, I had just gotten to the kid, King Von. You know, oh, yeah. right? Like, a week before his passing. Yeah. I, I was like, whoa, this, you could, you know, he got a song where he said, uh, he got a song where he described he hitting the lick. His girl chilling with this other dude from Tennessee. And it's just so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm like, Oh, you you had to hit this lick, bro. In order to really like, you couldn't like... even hear a nigga talk about this and remember this. Right? Yeah, you went this is that this is real life. I said, man, you going to jail? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, right. It's so descriptive. Right. You know, but it's, it's genius. It's genius. And that Authentic, shit. huh? That's just it's that so. And raw. I never will. I remember the first time I, I heard uh, the cat from Chief Key Camp. I loved a lot was Fredo. Oh yeah, Santana. His raps used to be like. I used to be like, this shit is so hard. I can't play this shit on a Sunday morning, but I, I can play this shit. You know you what I'm saying? You can't, right. you can't play it on Jesus Day? No, no, not Jesus Day. You know what I'm saying? I can't play it on no day. <laughs> Only night when I'm mad at a bill collector. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to find where the bill collector lives. So we got Drones, the album. Yeah, yeah. How, how many tracks? Is it like 12? I think 12, 12. 12 yeah. tracks. Yeah. Took you some time to... Put this together. It it's, to, it's a moving. It's a moving target, though, right? It just yeah. as the thoughts change and the world it changes. It's trying to make it feel right. It, it honestly, honestly, you know what I said to y'all, 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 y'all. We personal friends. Absolutely. Personal friend. I'm a record producer. Y'all, my friends that work at the motherfucking radio. Hmm. Why don't I give my friends something they could play in my music? Mm. Man. Like why? Why? What am I doing? Like that's what I started off doing. Right. So I was like, the drones really thinking. I mean, I need to give music. That my friends could play, yeah, so yeah. we could all play our music. Cause every time I'm doing something with the jazz world, I'm I'm aware of how this shit works. Mm. Y'all know I'm aware. Oh, yeah, 100%. yeah, oh yeah. So I know yeah. if it's too. Y'all, y'all, Terry, we gonna give you a four minute interview for Jazz by the Sea, cause we love you, motherfucker. We ain't gonna air, but it's for you on your Instagram. You know what I'm saying? But that that we we, we you know, but we've also been up here for big records for yeah. sure. So my thing is, even with the music, man, I I just want to tap back in. To real LA too, where mm. where I'm from, and I I didn't grow up hearing jazz every day, mm. hearing R&B every day. Hearing, I grew up hearing everything every day, and I wanted this to be a true reflection of that. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. like you know I, I I love my art world. I love all the worlds. I love all the worlds though. I love the shallow shit. The I love all the shit, bro. Uh-huh, I right. love I love it all. You know you gotta love it. Yeah, absolutely. Gotta love it. 
Absolutely. So I, I, I just wanted to do something, man, that that we could dance to. You know, we, we could rock at some parties with and we could spin, we could have doubles of, and we could just dance to and have fun. fun yeah. I feel like it's easier, it's easy as fuck to make music that you and 20 of your artsy friends like. <laughs> right. Artists, it's easy for that. You heard that's that, easy. artist? <laughs> it's easy to do the complicated lyrical, that's simple. Ah. <laughs> Try doing something that creates real estate. That 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 should be a motherfucking goal for everybody. Let's create something that create real estate that can help our children, mm. help other children. Right. Yeah. And even if you're 21, 22, you're not really thinking about that. We was growing up in L.A. Right. For sure, we was because we was on some, we was game banging young, hella young. I had my first son at 15, so we it was always like, what what can make me some motherfucking money? Don't nobody want to talk about that. What can make me some money? Mm. What can make you some money is what, somebody play your shit and everybody say. Play it again. Yeah. If they like, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> was there records that you that got bigger than you thought they were gonna be when before you put them out? I don't even know if that's the expectation. I but. never know if a record's gonna be big, but I could tell from a setup and the marketing budget. Mm. <laughs> the marketing budget is important. And the run, <laughs> yeah. the promo run, yeah. right. on what they plan to do with an artist record. And even if a record doesn't be a hit record, I know certain records would be in, in the, the stream of possibilities. If the record happens to be good and in that stream, sometimes I, I get lucky. Right. And, you know, which is most of the time. Because some, some, some of the shit, is, a lot of shit is feeling, but some of the shit is math, too. Hmm. I think I think uh, a lot of it is feeling though when you hear your music. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, because I haven't discovered the math to do it all. <laughs> <laughs> but when we do, we coming for that too. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, coming yeah, for yeah, that yeah. shit too. But you know what? For me, I'm just I'm I'm throwing paint on the wall. Yeah, but I'm throwing the paint on the wall in a direction though. No doubt. Like my main thing is healing, and I feel like I I can help people heal. I'm I'm healing myself through my music. But it's something like if I'm doing deep music and orchestral jazz, and you have to sit and listen to it, so you have to want to get healed. You have to want to. You have to feel like this, or do like this, or you know. But when you got them tempos and them drums, and motherfuckers can move to it, they don't even know that the healing is in the music. It's coming. You dancing to a whole blessing right now. Talk to him. It's, Start it's coming there. through. Yeah, facts. That's real. You know, it's coming through. And that that's that's what I'm on. I, I, I want to make people feel good and still give them a message. You know, I don't want people just sitting there listening to my shit, bored as fuck. I hate that shit. You know? <laughs> and I do a lot of jazz clubs around the world, and they just be sitting there. I'll be like, man, this shit, man, this is crazy. And when, you, when I go far away, I can't get my good weed. So I'm looking at them, and they're just looking at me, and I'm like, why are you looking at me? Nobody's dancing, then that's why I get on the mic. I say, okay, fuck this. Come show. on, like everybody get up. We came to have some fun. Everybody get up. Clap your hands. Do something. Shit. Smile. The world is crazy. You know? We're Give here. Stuff. We're healthy. Fucking interaction. Man. God, you know? God damn. You ever did a party? You kill it. Oh, me. hell yeah. All the records and they just Bro, bro, when you do like corporate shit sometimes, bro. The best pain but the worst thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right. During a party, you're like, this shit ain't worth it. But yeah. then at, once, you, once that check hits, you're like, nah, you that know, shit was, was worth cool. it. I, I saw one person dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll do it again. I had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly, bro. Exactly. Nah, yeah, we, we on the same page. <laughs> man, thank you for coming up here tonight, man. You kicking me off? Nah, it's just yeah, that. I can tell you when you're turning your fucking head and shit. <laughs> it might be time. <laughs> See, here's the approach I like. He get the fuck up. You're like, yeah, wait till you do yeah. Right, right, yeah, man, right. Thank you for coming up here, man. So, um, <laughs> you know what I'm still thinking about, bro? When you I said, crazy. I was gonna say something. I'm so glad we are better now. Keep it <laughs> yeah, we grown now, bro. Uh, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about when you said I was throwing paint on the wall, but I'm throwing it all in one direction. I was like, I tried to act like I knew what you were talking about. I was like, yeah. <laughs> okay, what? No, 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 that's good. Let but me... I was like, I don't know what the fuck this dude's so talking right. about right now, bro. For years he acts like he knows what I'm talking about. I, but I see his face all and I'm like, this motherfucker. I thought he knew. No, no. No, I nodded my head what, like what I, I knew. By, what, I, what I mean by, and this, this is the representation of, of my life. It's like, I don't know how to love perfectly, but I'm going to keep trying at this angle of love. Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I'm in this area of love. Got it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know how to be perfect, but I'm just working that they keep saying this shit will help. I'm not trying to be perfect, but 
but I'm trying to be a little more, you know, dealable. Dealable word? I'm trying I, to be a little know. more. See, I just agree. But you again. said it. I don't so even know if that's the fucking word. You know, I was like, yep, dealable. Word, yeah, I'm, dealable. I'm trying to be a little more. <laughs> I'll probably like dealable, I want, right? I want my loved ones <laughs> and my family to shut the fuck up because I'm about to say some crazy shit. <laughs> No, oh no. I, I, honestly, though, I'm I'm in my personal life. I'm just trying to work on being more. Uh... Bro, you should have let me wrap this shit up when I had the chance, Terrence. I'm trying to tell you, my it's brother, over. it might be done. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yo, it's yo, I swear, yo, we talk to Terrence like this because we're fucking. We on the LA Leakers, y'all. One time for the right here, man. <laughs>